Apple's Worldwide Developers Conference will be going to happen in a very different way this year. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, the company had declared in early March this year that this year WWDC event will be happening online. As of now, the company has released the schedule for the same. Click on the bell icon to get the latest tech update and join us on Tech Shouters to know more about all the new happenings on the tech world. Finally, Apple has released the schedule for its biggest event Worldwide Developers Conference 2020. But, this time it would be something different than earlier. COVID-19 is spreading all over and affects many things including business, studies, and many more. Because of the pandemic, the company has decided to go differently this time. WWDC 20 event will happen online from 22 June to 26 June this year. However, this will surely disappoint many individuals who would want to take part in the event. But, by means of virtually they can attend the WWDC 20 absolutely free. Along with the schedule, the company has also shared the information for developers to understand the future of iOS, MacOS, iPodos, WatchOS, Tvos, and helps us to fascinate more with the Apple engineers. Worldwide Developers Conference 2020 schedule includes the special keynotes, SU, Platform State of the Union, more than 100 plus engineering sessions, new Apple developer forums, and developers' labs basis on the appointment. On June 16, Apple will declare the finalists of the Swift Student Challenge. Swift Challenge is the chance where students of all ages can showcase their developers' minds by creating their own Swift keyboard. More information related to this you will find on Apple Developer App. Apple will share more information about WWDC 20 on the official Apple Developer website. After the death of George Floyd, many big tech firms have come up to give support for the black community. But, now the question arises why are they supporting the black community now, if they hadn't supported similar cases like this, earlier? And even as of now they are also donating money for the same. Big tech champs are why giving so much support to the case of custodial death of George Floyd, as they have not responded with the same enthusiasm at the time of Eric Garner, Michael Brown, Ahmed Arbery. Many rich public figures of tech companies are supporting the number Black Lives Matter movement openly by giving public statements against racial injustice. Many of the world's biggest businesses are donating for the cause of racial injustice and supporting them directly. But six years earlier, where were these companies are when Eric Garner and Michael Brown were killed in the same way? At that time, these people were busy doing the Ice Bucket Challenge to raise funds for the Owls Association. Now, the question arises where the sympathy of these companies had gone when Eric, a horticulturist at the Nick Department of Parks and Recreation, was killed by a policeman. At that time also number Black Lives Matter movement had taken place. But, it hadn't got as much attention as it is getting nowadays. These companies may not have supported this movement back in 2014, but these big players of tech genres like Microsoft, Twitter, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, LinkedIn, are giving so much support to this movement now in 2020. This support is necessary to end racial injustice and spread peace and harmony among all humans in this world, without acknowledging their caste, creed, religion, or skin color. So, these were some of the major updates from the tech giant Apple. For more such updates, subscribe to Tech Shouters and stay tuned with us.